Coach Hibbs, after championship Saturday and a couple of tight games that looked a lot like last weekend where both teams really, everybody was competing at their maximum effort and uh, just came up a little short, although a couple of rallies uh, really got things back going for you. And just, I don't know, just kind of summing up this week, um, your thoughts as, as some of the guys are going to start uh, departing your seniors and whatnot. But uh, what an effort today in these last two games. Yeah, we just, we really never got in a rhythm today. You know, I, we just, we just never did. Um, and we've been able to, to, you know, get one run ahead of the teams that we've been playing for an extended period of time now. And we just never were able to do that. You know, we either got behind or when we started catching up, we, we couldn't get that one more hit. Um, and, you know, it's, it's really frustrating. You, you know, I mean, we expect to win. We expect to win every time we play against anybody that we play on our schedule. Um, and we just never got in a rhythm. Um, told our guys at the end of the game, I mean, it's, I mean, it hurts because, and it should hurt because the, the effort our guys put in this year from the first day of fall practice, the effort our players put in, our coaches put in, the effort our staff put in, uh, it should hurt because uh, when you do, when you do the things that we've done as a program and, and play at the level that we played at, you know, this year, it, it's, it's going to hurt. Do you feel like, I, I know we're missing some guys, but do you feel like that those, those guys were, you were able to get the most out of everybody when you think back to the start of the year and what those guys were able to produce nearly a 40 win season and the way you guys had to win games? It, you, it, it was almost like you were able to squeeze every little bit out of every guy, whether it be a bullpen guy or a starter or who, whoever it was. Well, that's what we try to do every year. I, you know, I, I, it's always about the players, it's always about the kids. I mean, we try to put them in the right position, we try to put them in the right uh, situations where they have the best chance to be successful. Um, you know, early in the year and even in the midway part of the season, I didn't think we were an NCAA caliber team. You know, we had played a really good schedule playing, you know, uh, a really, really good non-conference schedule. And we saw some elite level teams and we really didn't really match up until later in the year. About the last four or five, six weeks, I felt like that we became an NCAA caliber team. Uh, now, with that being said, we're not going to get a chance to play next next weekend, and and we're all disappointed with that. But I'm really proud of the way these group of guys evolved in, into that kind of team. Really proud of, again, the effort that they put forth. And um, you know, at, at times we had as many as six guys that were either walk-ons for us right now or had been walk-ons in the everyday lineup for us. And when you start talking about that type of situation and, and the development that those kids have made, I'm just really, really proud of them. And then uh, we, you, you talk about a, a, the, the record for home wins, but the, the attendance record you mentioned as well even had a sellout crowd on the last day of the season. Uh, it, it, feels, it really feels like you're really building something here. I know that that's something you've talked about a couple times during the year, but uh, when you think back to the energy the crowd was, you're able to feed off of and, and the, the, the traditions you're really starting to build with the new stadium here and it's in its uh, sixth, seventh year, uh, you kind of got to be excited moving forward about what the future holds for this park and, and the program in it. Yeah, and our, our staff does a does a great job. You know, the, the people, the game management people, you know, with Jesse and Cass and yourself and, you know, all the people that come out here to, to help on game days, our grounds guys, you know, the, the physical plant guys did a great job during the tournament. They help us out during the, you know, during the regular season and our coaching staff works our tails off and our players. I mean, I, again, it's always about, about those guys. But um, and a bunch of them were here. A bunch of them, former players calling, texting, you know, they, they were here. Uh, again, we're just really disappointed we did not win today. And I, I know you appreciate that. I know the people that have played here appreciate that because they understand the level of expectation. Um, and, and we're going to keep building and, and, and keep moving forward, you know. I thought we had a really, really good year this year, really good year, and a lot of things we can be proud of. Uh, but we're going to have to keep looking for ways to get better. We're going to have to keep looking for ways to move forward. We're going to have to recruit and recruit and recruit. We're going to have to continue to draw, you know, to draw good crowds and, and, and have them be vocal. And, and all these things that go into building a really, really good program. And I, I think we're well on our way to doing that. Uh, I know there's a lot of pride, you know, with, with Niner Nation about what's been accomplished out here. And the fans support us and did a great job. But uh, we're just disappointed today that we, that we didn't win. Thanks for putting up with me after every game, and thanks for giving the fans a little bit of your voice uh, after every game this year. We appreciate it. Well, thanks again to everybody for supporting us the, the whole year, and um, we'll be okay in a few days, and we'll get back to recruiting and, and uh, get back to building towards you know, next season. Atlantic 10 regular season champs and moving forward. Thanks, Coach. Thanks a lot.